Hello everyone, welcome back to Sydney and Starlet, and if you are new here, Welcome. Welcome, enjoy the videos. videos. So today, me and Sydney are going to be reading a little golden book. book. I'm a narwhal. So, let's begin. I am not a unicorn. I am not a fish. Can you say fish? Freak. Fish. Freak. Not fish. Fish. Free. Fish. Frizz. I'm a narwhal. Can you say narwhal? Oh, wow. Narwhal. I look magical, but I'm really just a kind of whale. My closest relatives are the beluga whale, the dolphin, and the porpoise. I live in the cold Arctic waters with my pod or family. I can dive very deep and hold my breath under the ice for a long time. In the spring, narwhals swim to warmer bays. This is called migration. Once there, we like to lie on the water's surface and rest. This is called logging. Long ago, when narwhal horns were found on the beach, people thought they were magical unicorn horns. Wouldn't you? My horn is actually a big front tooth or tusk. It grows in a spiral right through my upper lip. It helps me taste the salt in the water and find the right places to hunt. Boy narwhals are usually the ones with tusks but some girls have them too. Because I'm a narwhal, I can stun a tasty codfish or squid with my tusk, then suck the meal into my mouth. I communicate with clicking and knocking sounds. Humans don't know what I'm saying, but my friends and family do. I may not be a unicorn, but I am magical in my own way. <laughs> because I'm a wug narwhal. The ends. The end. So that is it for today, everyone. I really hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Pick out your favorite page. Who's your favorite character? Gods. The stars? Okay. Bye-bye.